Hi, I'm Andy and today I'll be showing you around the North Lane area of Brighton. Today I'm in Brighton, in the North Lane area. North Lane consists of around four blocks, nearly half a mile square, with over 400 independent and interesting businesses. But let's start at Brighton Railway Station. Coming to Brighton by train is by far the best way to get here. Driving and parking around town can be a real nightmare and very expensive. When arriving in Brighton, there's a temptation to head straight down Queen's Road and head for the sea. But the North Lane area starts immediately outside the station and should not be overlooked. Directly under the station is the Brighton Toy Museum with over 10,000 exhibits dating back to the 18th century. North Lane offers a vibrant and colourful, eclectic mix of shops, stalls and flea markets catering for every need. Who knows what you might find? And every visit is different. And most definitely not the sort of things you'll find on your standard clone high street. There's a whole shop devoted to just chilli products. Now that's hot. Take a look around the many small galleries dotted around the lanes. And if body art is more your thing, then Brighton is the place to be. Book lovers can browse for hours around the second-hand bookshops, vintage magazine and comic book stores. There's even a book about the area. It's a great place to hunt out that sought-out vinyl for your collection. Wax Factor even has a 50s-style diner hidden in the back. There is even a shop specialising in bonsai trees. In the heart of North Lane is Comedia, regarded as one of the UK's top comedy clubs and the fantastic Duke's Cinema. There's also a whole street art tour to be followed to see some of the most amazing murals in the city. There are plenty of really interesting places to eat in Brighton, like the award-winning chilli pickle behind me, to zero food waste restaurants, right down to small sandwich and cafe bars. Brighton is a foodie's heaven. There's a fantastic veggie and vegan food scene too, which is great for me. And not just food, but clothing and footwear too. We have some of the happiest cows in the UK. And of course there are plenty of great pubs and breweries too. To the south is the Cultural District, with the Brighton Dome, the Pavilion, Theatre Royal and many other theatres and entertainment venues. Check out Trafalgar Street, Sydney Street, Kensington Gardens, Gardner Street, Bond Street and all the little roads in between. And many of the local characters are just as interesting as the shops. North Lane is just a really interesting place to spend the afternoon, just wandering around the streets and discovering what it's got to offer. They say once found, always revisited. And if you fancy something sweet for the journey home. Well that's it from North Lane. Come back next time for some more interesting sights around Brighton.